the world records created by hindu still unbroken i can say at least 10000 still exists world record created by hindus unbroken i'll make a website for it world records created by hindus still unchallenged unbroken first i'll say mahabharata till nobody nobody is able to compete 100000 couplet epic of the mahabharata the stature of mahabharata forget about breaking the record nobody is even able to challenge it nobody is even able to challenge it so be assured don't bother about this superstitious science practitioners paramashiva is real mahasada shiva with 25 face and 50 hands is real just visualize yourself and inhale and exhale then you will understand the air which goes to the fifth layer 25th head nostril and comes down will make you realize you are mahasada shiva this kind of breathing will make you realize every word i am uttering is true and it will become reality in you you will start living enlightenment understand living enlightenment is not a struggle now i want to tell you for living enlightenment you need vision not sacrifice as long as you don't get the right vision you need to have sacrifice till the vision is not clicked you need sacrifice once the vision clicks you don't need sacrifice when i cut my thigh and went back to annamalai swamigal he said what you did is neither wrong nor right i couldn't understand what do you mean he said because of this cutting yourself you got the click ultimately that you are not the body actually after that only he gave me the initiation into that aham spurana the methodology of the aham spurana by great incarnation ramana maharishi it was transmitted to me by annamalai swamigal so ramana maharishi is my parama guru and annamalai swamigal transmitted that aham spurana anubhava into me and which became reality when i was 12 and the avalakundru after that once namalai swami gul was telling me now understand the thing you did cutting your thighs neither right nor wrong because you got the vision you don't need sacrifice you don't need to cut yourself again if annamalai swami gul said cutting yourself is right i would have been continuously doing that everywhere and all of you will be sitting and cutting yourself it is not right same way it is not wrong you need certain kind of a ferociousness to do sacrifice till the vision clicks that kind of a ferociousness is required for the vision to click so because the ferociousness is required for the vision to click the experimenting on yourself cutting yourself your thigh was not wrong because it is not required regularly once the vision clicks it is not right understand it properly sacrifice is required only till the vision clicks once the vision clicks you don't need sacrifice because living enlightenment does not need sacrifice it only needs the vision clicking in you but till the vision clicks you need to have the patience and perseverance will persistence for that you need sacrifice